Hello, I'm Roger Cloud with Cloud Microphones. We're here at Music Mesa 2014, and I am presenting the new Cloud 44A. It's the world's first and only active ribbon microphone with dual response curves for voice and music. We have this handy little switch here that is makes it easy to switch between applications and opens up a whole new spectrum of possibilities for using a ribbon microphone where uh, you can reduce the proximity effect by uh, using the switch to come in closer for an instrument or for a voice and you also have the full frequency response of the music position. So it's a, an active ribbon, right? That's correct. It uses the award-winning cloud lifter circuitry, which cloud lifters, uh, here's uh, one of our models here, the, the cloud lifter CLZ. And what the cloud lifter line does is it offers about 25 decibels of ultra clean gain for any passive dynamic or ribbon microphone. And it's very clean and it works in line. It runs on phantom power so it basically makes your passive microphone active. So with the Cloud 44A, the Cloud Lifter technology is built right inside. So it takes uh, phantom power to it take, drive? It takes phantom power, and it has an output level that's uh, simil similar to a condenser microphone. So it's compatible with all of your preamps. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So um, with ribbon mics, Sometimes you know you have one side that has slightly more uh, of a brighter sound, one side that has a, just a slightly different. Do you get the same effect with your microphones, or is it uh, clean on both sides of the figure of eight? Right. So what we've done with the with the Cloud 44A is is we've made it the same on both sides, and the reason for that is because when you when you have it the same on both sides, you get excellent side null rejection. So you can really uh, isolate an instrument. So if you have a horn ensemble or something and you, and you need to isolate a wave, you can use the side null rejection of the microphone uh, to null out other sounds in the room. Ah, okay. So it, it works better if, if both sides of the ribbon are the same, right. because then the, then the two sides phase out and make a real nice cancellation. So you get a really tight uh, pickup pattern on both sides of the microphone. Excellent. Yeah. And so what, um, what are the things that also happens with the, uh, what's the sound pressure level like? I mean, can you stick it near a kick drum or is it going to be too much for something like that? Well, you, you need to use extreme caution with things like kick drum, uh, but if you, with proper placement and if you, if you offer it slightly on a, at an angle and at a distance of maybe two to three feet away from a, a kick drum and yeah. you don't have it right so that the sound pressure goes through, you want you want this, the, the angle to be like this. If the kick drum is here, you, you probably want it about here with, a, with some sort of an angle here so that you don't have direct sound pressure going through the ribbon. Uh, and I would also recommend a pop filter for, for an application such as that. And I, and I do those sort of things, but it's really not meant for that. And I would uh, urge extreme yeah. caution uh, with those sort of applications. So um, what would you say the character of the microphone your ribbon is? Because I mean, we use ribbons uh, in our reviews and it's just, that's what I heard in the room. Is that the kind of thing that you get with this? Sure, it's very natural. And that's, that's the, whole, uh, the whole thing with ribbons is they can be very natural and it sounds as if you're hearing it. Uh, it has a personality from the past. The, the, the ribbon itself is exactly the same as the original RCA 44A and PB90 microphones as they were in the 1930s. In fact, uh, our design partner's father was an engineer at RCA and, and uh, when, when he passed away, he left his son all the, all the tooling and we have Harry Olson's original corrugator from the 1930s and ribbon cutting and making tools. So we've kept the, the, the ribbon itself intact just as it was in the 1930s. But everything else we've engineered anew with modern technology, including the active cloud lifter circuitry, so that uh, so that you have something that's compatible with all the modern equipment uh, and has a very strong sensitivity and output level, yet it still has personality from the past. So a lot of people are using ribbons on guitars, aren't they, to get that kind of beautiful, clean tone? Absolutely. It's really nice and warm. They're smooth on top, so you don't get the harsh transients and uh, and, and, the, and the real abrasive top end that some people are getting these days with their digital recording. So that's part of why ribbon microphones are, are making a comeback is because, because you can sort of smooth out the edges with them. Now, 
one key difference with the the Cloud 44A as it was with the RCA uh, 44s in the uh, in the in the early part of of the the 20th century is that they actually do have some top end. They're 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 quite present, um, but they're not overly emphasized. And many microphones these days uh, can sort of accentuate the upper band frequencies in a way that maybe doesn't sound natural and that can work really well on certain sources but on some sources like brass or or strings or woodwinds and certain voices you, you don't want to overly emphasize the upper band frequencies you want to have more of a smooth natural response. And you were talking about the ribbon proximity effect, what, what are the characteristics of that? Because I, I know about cardioid ribbon uh, proximity, is it a similar Sure. And so what happens with the ribbon microphone is the closer you get to the ribbon microphone, the more accentuated the, the bass response becomes. And so uh, typically for a vocal, you know, I would say at least this much distance uh, would be nice for a vocal. And with, uh, as we were talking about the switch, you can actually reduce the, the frequency res response of the, of the low frequencies by utilizing the voice music switch to sort of counter that, but you're still getting more as you get closer, and uh, but with the switch you're able to control that. The classic radio voice. The classic radio voice, that's right. And you know, all those early jazz recordings and the early Elvis and uh, Billie Holiday, all, all those records were made with ribbon microphones. And, and now that sound is coming back and it's a really, compatible technology with digital because digital is so clean and pure to the source and ribbon microphones are able to capture sounds in such a natural way that that it, it really makes for, uh, uh, I think it's really the future of recording. And so what sort of prices are your cloud, as the cloud mic, as this particular microphone? Uh, these are, uh, I believe they're going for around 1900 euro in, uh, in Europe here and uh, and the, but the cloud lifter technology also is um, available in four models, and they started around 144 euro, up to um, uh, probably around uh, around 500 euro for the CL4. So we have uh, the CL1, which is our most popular item, uh, is available in Europe for 144 euro, and it gives you 25 decibels of ultra clean gain in line as we were discussing um, and you can use it with uh, not only ribbon microphones but your favorite dynamic microphones Just give you a bit of extra push. absolutely and they're very popular for sure sm7b microphones and sennheiser md421s and other other microphones that need a lot of gain great thank you very much thank you it was wonderful to to see you this morning